we sipping a little, whatever, I was hanging out with her, and I had to take a shit, right? So I go, I'm in the bathroom, taking a shit. I hear, get out! I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm on the toilet, like, what's going on? Yeah, shit. <laughs> The nigga is in the house. Oh my god. He like, who you got up in here, bitch? She like, get out, mom, out. I'm on the toilet. Like, god damn it. I'm just saying. <laughs> your clothes I'm probably to, your clothes probably in the room is some old shit. Oh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm like, I gotta wipe before this nigga <laughs> come, bro. The door go, no, no, no. I'm like, oh, hold on, man. Wait. Well. What's the deal? It's your boy, Uncle Reese. It's another episode of It's Fuego. Shout out to my brother, Spirit God. Keep working. Keep doing your thing. Keep your foot on their neck, boy. So, I got a special guest. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't like, I don't introduce people. I let them introduce themselves. Yeah, yeah. Tell them who you are, big dog. Yeah, man, I'm Skinny Kenny. Everybody pretty much know me. S K double I N Y. You already know. That part right there, boy. And we got a uh, we got a special sponsor today. Um, Arzuli Gim Asulio. Thank you, <laughs> my boy. Okay, because <laughs> I needed it right quick. Because I'm lit. You feel me? We've been we've been playing, uh, testing this shit, and I can't even pronunciate it no more. You feel me? I'm that lit right now. But uh, yeah, I've been testing. I ain't tested it yet, man. So it's time. Yeah, I need let's to go. It. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down on mine, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn <laughs> you up. You feel me? But let's go. Let's see what's up with this shit right. Here. The fingers over here. You did. Yeah. He's a finger smoker. You know, y'all better get on it. The fingers of God. <laughs> I'm faded. All right. Got my little. So, sorry to get your little tip off. Come on. Oh, my bad. See, I, I get right you. to it. I, I got to get you. right I to see. it. You got right to that. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Ooh. All smooth. right. That's smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Not Man. bad. Not bad. I like it. Mm. I like that. Hey. Shout out to our sponsors. We appreciate you so much because this one right here. Yeah, shout out to Asilio. This one gonna get you in office, baby. That fork. That. <laughs> this shit is how you make it. Shoes. That nigga Donald Trump made some shoes. Oh, my God. That was God. the craziest shit I've ever you seen know. in the world. They be like <laughs> smacking us in the face. Nah, have shit. you seen the shoes, though? They Bro, like 24 huh? karat gold or some shit like that. Like, you slave, know, slave master bottoms and shit. Yeah. It hurt me was. <laughs> This they understand our culture so much. Yeah. All this data they got on us. The nigga said they'll love the shoes. Right, exactly. <laughs> that, that's it. That's all we love, man. Your girls love shoes. Right, exactly. <laughs> got the yeah. whole frame of the dunce and everything. They look like supers. <laughs> you know, you know, I was like, I was like, this nigga too good. And he like, he hit us right on the head. <laughs> Well, uh, man, I'm yeah. not paying no $400 for that. I'm not at I'm all, I'm actually not paying bro. $200. I'm not winning paying $100 bro, for no damn Trump foes. The Trump foes. I come to the rally, nigga, we all need them for free. <laughs> God damn it. That's just basically what it is, fool. <laughs> like, you over here trying to I'm play cool. us. I'm straight at part. But, man, so, Skinny Kim, man, tell us the deal, man. What's going on with you? How you doing? Uh, man, you know, I'm just dibbling, dabbling, new shit, bro. You know, um, you know, as as people know, I'm a rapper, uh, yes, of yes, course. Sir. Uh, but now I've been on the dead, yeah, man, on the dead. I fucks with it. Yeah, man, fucks shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. But uh, but yeah, man, I've been dipping into the you know directing music videos and trying to direct short films and shit like okay. that. And um, you know, I've been working on the script actually to work on um, that's pretty much based around uh the thirty third compound. Uh, it's like a it's like a comedy, like a like a mockumentary, if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like CB4, like okay, the Office. Yeah. Come on, you know now, what you... I'm saying? Yeah, shit, I was, shit like that. That's what I was going to say first, yeah. like the Office. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, that shit. But it'll be just like based on, you know, everything that, that nigga said CB4. Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm old school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm not looking, but I'm not him. Y'all don't know nothing about it. If y'all don't, y'all need to get on it. That shit is hilarious, boy. Yeah, low cash. Man, that shit is <laughs> low cash. <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, man, you gotta, um, you gotta respect that, man. That's what makes, um, uh, the bright future that we have. People understanding the history of the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then being able to mix that in with new, vibrant ideas. Oh yeah, know, most man. definitely. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see that shit, bro. I, I'm feeling like, man, we, we, uh, Fuego is uh finally a part I of the team. I definitely want to work with you, but yeah, so, I want to work with you with that, bro. You know, we got to do that shit, man. Yeah, Thank but other than that, up. man, shit. Other than directing and you know writing the script, of course, you know, I'm I've been working on my clothing line, Electric Black 
Shit, you fly yeah, you as a motherfucker right now. Yeah. Shit, man. I got to get y'all some pieces, man, but, you know, shit is official, but, you know. See, I'm loving the little this joint right here. What's oh, yeah, man, this is this some little, you know, cow straight from the farm. We I was got, about to say, that, what? That furry the, cow. That's the, uh, that's the, that's, no, that's, that's the, moo. <laughs> right. You ain't never seen that woody. I ain't <laughs> never seen it. I'm like, I ain't know, what color is that? <laughs> right, and exactly. Brown and black exactly. and white. Got a little exactly. cream brown, in here or somewhere. That's all the, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the hood. All together, brown, yeah. black, and white, exactly. all of us in right. one. I love exactly. it. <laughs> that shit cold, man. You know what I You feel me? You, you, hey, he, hey, you put it on. You did it hey, right, yeah, baby. That's, yeah. you did that's it right. another thing that I'm doing too. I'm putting that shit on. Got that part, baby. <laughs> you feel me? So now, uh, where, uh, where are we from? Where do we hail from? Skinny can't tell the people, man. Uh, I'm from the east side. Shit, you side? know, east side Compton, straight up. Yeah. Rosecrans, K CPT, Street, baby. Right there between them. You know what I'm saying? I'm right there. Shit. Shout out to everybody in 92nd the, in, and Main, wherever you uh, know everything. Come on, bro. He, like, everything. He east everywhere, of, bro. East of the East of the one ten, huh? Yeah. East of the East. No, no, no. We're gonna say the real East. Oh, what do you mean? East of Maine. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, right hey. here. Cause I'm not Come on now. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here. Deep, though, cause yeah, they don't no, real that. shit. Cause everybody been saying no, oh, no, Phil is where the east side starts. Well, that's not that's 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 not that's pre West Side. Oh, that's my, that's pre West Side. It's it's, look, left, it's nothing dealing with the I'm East Side. So I'm glad he's. I don't I don't even bring that type of shit up, right? But I grew up on the Vermont corridor, man. Shout out to everybody on Vermont. So we are considered the West. Um, Big is still the West. Main Street, uh, whatever. That's still the West. The one ten, everything mm -hmm. after one ten, like Broadway is actually the beginning of the East Side. But the Broadway is kind of yep. they get a. You know what I mean? It get tricky up in yeah, here. Yeah, it get tricky right now. As soon as, but as soon as you pass Main Street coming from Man. Broadway, that's where the East starts. That's where Literally. it begins. That's, <laughs> that's the that's the point. R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. Um, um, the boy, man. Um, man, edit that. That's fucked up. I should have had him. Like, nah, it's that. I, I Leo. It's that. I, 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 Leo got you talking, man. Uh, Roscoe's, man. Um, oh, PNB. Yeah, R.I.P. PNB, bro. Yeah, but. Maine and Manchester, I, is, man, I, I stay is at the, that Roscoe. Yes, that's the beginning yeah. of the East Side. You yeah, can, you can kind of you can you can feel Literally, it. Like, right, okay, yeah, this the East, nigga. right? You exactly. know, so the street even yeah. start feeling different. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where that dip come from? <laughs> oh, <what was> that? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, man. So, all the motherfucking, all you motherfuckers running for office and all that shit. Go fix Compton streets. If fix east side streets, you can't even drive running, motherfucker. No, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna fix that. You need to, motherfucker. Shit crazy. Yeah, man. But Especially look, Compton. Let's get on uh let's get back on topic of the music, cause that's what we hear, the entertainment, you feel me? Yeah. So let's um let's talk about what you we'll we'll talk about what you got coming later. Right now I wanna know what's one of your favorite projects that you worked on already? Uh something to slide to. That's my second Debut, my my second album that I dropped under Skinny Kenny it used to I used to go by another name, but uh, under okay. Skinny Kenny, something to slide to is definitely my favorite. Okay, uh, that pretty much has got like a mixture of like hella smooth beats, like produced by Blast. Um, shout out Blast. Yeah, shout out to my nigga Blast. Um, you know it's hella hella produced by Bro. You know I got hella produce production up in there by a couple other people. You know, um, it's it's just a different me. Like everything is just more smooth. Like something to slide to at I night. Feel you. you know what I'm saying? I like, respect that. Like that nighttime music. Like niggas really, you know, miss that type of shit. Like how Larry June yeah. came in. You know, Evil Dom Kennedy. You know, that. said that's 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 all that's all Larry June is. <laughs> that nigga funny. <laughs> he said the just, Evil Dom Kennedy. Man, that's, that's all Larry June is. Goddamn it, it's Evil Dom Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I kept telling niggas, I'm like, bro, Larry June is just. A whole a light skinned motherfucking uh motherfucking Dom, bro. And you can the 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 flow, it's the slow matic flow. It's yeah. like nah, that's the, the evil the version beats. of Dom. It's amazing. It's the but evil version of I Dom. Actually, uh I'll be honest with you, I like dude. Keep doing what you're doing, Larry June. Facts. Cause that shit is crazy. Dom, you already know, nigga. You hold the West down. You been holding the West down. Keep holding that shit Facts. down. Facts. Hey, you know what's funny? We had uh that boy Dijon Paul, shout out the rap uh, report card. Oh yeah, he had him up here, right? And he went in on Dom, bro. He was like, Oh yeah, I, I see him bro, going in a lot on Dom. That man. nigga had me like, man, what? You know what? At, shit. 
as a fan, I kind of understand where he's coming from for the simple fact is that we're fans yeah. of Dom. That part. And, you know, we want the the material. We want the music yeah. and shit like that. Why are you waiting so long to give us this shit? Like, it's funny. And I get it. You're not supposed to rush greatness. I understand. I, uh, I get it. But you signed up for this shit. You can't I, just spoon feed us, you know what I'm saying? Like, and not expect us to jump on, you know, we need you. Dom Kennedy, you know uh, what I'm saying? Like... I, but I, I get Damn. where he's coming from. And that's crazy. He did creep in too. He like yeah, you, like oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. You, know, you have so you gotta start. Y'all gotta identify these things, man. It's almost to the point where it's like it goes back down to the to the consistency thing. Mm-hmm. Like like artists that made it don't really understand that because they feel like they got this this thing that they made it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't have to do that shit. Whatever I drop, that of course they gonna fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Support. Whenever I drop it, it don't really matter. And that's where they kind of like fuck up at, especially so, if it's not amazing bodies of work. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're I'm, giving us some some bullshit here and there. Like what do you like? You know, it's a hit and miss with you. So we're not really expecting shit from you no more. You know, I so, I, I totally agree with you. And on, on, I'm gonna piggyback on the statement of like art. A lot of artists that get a that get a particular most people that get uh, notoriety or deals in a fast situation, it's kind of like the ego comes in a whole lot more. Oh, yeah. And it'd be like, all right, because I have my own program, this is how I got here and this is why I spin. And I can keep doing it the way I'm doing it. Right. This is how I got here. Right. I mean, but you got to remember, even if you got to that point, you still have to elevate as an artist. You still have Absolutely. to grow in your craft. You still have to work at what you do. You feel me? And piggybacking on what you said, man, you can't rush greatness. You can't. I used to hate, cause Nip and Dom was like doing the same shit. It was like it take forever for these niggas to drop music, man. But it's like when you drop it, it's legendary. You know right. what I'm saying? So I, I respect that point, but you still gotta remember, bro. It's a we not getting younger, so we getting older, and times are and changing. Times are and changing. You gotta be a part of the time. Music touch. is changing that as part. well, so you can't so. expect to drop every seven years when music is is changing. Every seven years, if can't you honestly it. think about it, you know really, what I'm saying? You can't do that shit because if you come back with seven years of some shit that you should have dropped, you know, back when you had that, that momentum, you outdated. it's mostly like, yeah, you're outdated. Like, like what the fuck? Like, this is cool. Like, but what else you got, my nigga? Like, you know it's, what I'm uh, it's always going to be a yearn for what's new because yeah. you ain't, you're, you're not. It's fucked up that music has took a, the attention span is so small. And the wave is so fucking quick. Oh, it's it's so dumbed it's down. Like it's dumbed down low crazy. key. So it's like the artists that we want music from, it, it's it's mostly like we're it, it's not appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you're so right. It won't be appreciated in the times that we got now because like you so like right. shit is fucking changing. Like you got no not no disrespect to three one zero baby and nothing like that. But you got songs from him. Baby. You got Soak City. You know what I'm saying? Like you got this Detroit wave oh, of yeah. beats. You know. Everybody want to jump on and shit like that. Like, there's d- definitely no disrespect because if that's what you like, then that's what you like. Go ahead, do what you got to do. Like but shit. <laughs> but if you come back out with the shit that that's not that, then it'll be like a standstill for you. I, that's how I feel about I, it. I respect what you're saying about it, and I know like, th- like back to what I was saying, the wave, bro. It's kind of like we we were in an era where everything took so long. The process of music took so long for it to be distributed. That it was like true. They controlled the, what the wave would be. Now you, you can me? just now you yeah. Shit on distro kid yeah, and wake up and so, that shit is there. You can't like now it's like the comp not it's just not even competition. It's just kind of like the industry versus indie is forcing the industry to move faster. True, true. And if they don't catch the fuck up, they'll be right where they are right now, still trying to understand what the fuck is going on. <laughs> like, it's like. It, it's like it looks like labels is like this, like they got their legs cut off and they just ooh, dangling and shit, just trying to figure it out. And it's like, bro, if you sit back and you look at the independent artist that's winning, you'll see that what he's doing is pushing consistency. It yeah. might not be a bunch of tracks. It might be seven tracks, right? But they but it's consistent. They, but they heat, yeah, they heat there, and, and it's probably and you might be giving us some damn visuals. Yeah, it probably because... it probably was twenty eight tracks, but he moved down to seven so he could give you. For EPs, right? You feel right, what I'm saying? Right. So it's kind of like rappers gotta, new entertainers gotta catch up to that. You feel what I'm saying? Because the game ain't gonna go backwards. 
and not, you I know. feel that because yeah, I feel that, bro. A hundred percent. I can't even like piggyback off of that because I actually agree with that. Mando. Wholeheartedly. So like I, I just feel like as far as like artists though, more artists should start like with um I don't know, like better rollouts. If yeah. you know, if that makes sense. Like I don't I totally know. Agree. I don't know if artists even out there even know what rollouts are you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying it's part of your merch it's part of your you know your visuals and shit you know literally you know people don't people don't want to i don't know what is it investing in that like you don't want to pay we was just talking about donald trump he just rolled out like a motherfucker motherfucker you feel me he got shoes for your ass you know what i'm saying and we sitting here talking about it so it fucking worked like you know what i'm saying that part right so uh, listen, artist, take what he just gave you. No real shit. Not with a not not like a, not with a grain of salt, but consume all of that. And I and I get it. Serious, bro. It. It's it's usually a financial problem with yeah, artists. Yeah, so, so I, I understand that for the simple fact is that you don't know, ain't got a you ain't got a hundred people behind you investing into yeah. you. You ain't got no drug dealer yeah. uncles yeah. investing into you. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And shout out the drug dealer uncles. You no, know, we no love cap. you. Real shit. Shout out to y'all. Damn, that's keep moving those packs. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you know, I get it. it. It's not, it's not that. But you just got to keep, like, you know, keep creating. Really, it, yeah. we're in a creative content era, so it's almost like you got to really stay in their face. If you, it, even if you're not dropping music, you just got to really, yeah, keep I, going. That's funny because during that interview, we was talking to dude. It's a lot of, it's a lot of new artists now that it's not even the music that people are attracted to. They're attracted to the fact that they're this this person's face is all over the internet with drama. You know what I'm saying? Nice. So they so obviously the streams are gonna go up. You I know mean, what I'm saying? The variety of all shit. Publicity is damn near good. Simple publicity, I mean, real shit. Like, it's to the point where like people are getting in the game, dropping their sex tapes, like you Nigga. Know, like, hey. Let's talk about they got leaked. You know, it's Bro. it's just that easy. You know what I'm saying? And that is so fucking crazy. And have you noticed that it's not even the craze no more? Nah. Like <laughs> they'll uh, the, they'll do it and that should be hot for two, three, four days. Yeah, that's everybody it. just seen the video. We over it now, right? Because we uh, already seen, you know, and already know like, what shit looks like that shit is crazy, right. bro. It's Kim Kardashian changed the fuck. No, you know I'm not gonna give her that. Ray J. <laughs> I give it to Ray J. I for did sure that. give it to Ray J. Yeah. I give it to Ray J. Because Ray J did that. Kim had to capitalize from. What she felt was uh, smut on her life, and I respect that too. That's beautiful because if you didn't want it to get put out, and it did get put out, look how you capitalize on life. You have took yourself to an amazing level. God That's bless all you. It's about is mm-hmm. just capitalizing off of you. Yeah, man. If you can keep your pussy off the camera, ladies, keep it off. You, you know, know what I mean? yeah, keep it off for sure. But if not, send it to me. Either way, it's cool. <laughs> oh, nigga, this nigga. Yeah. Hey, he's funny <laughs> as fuck. I'll just kind of. Okay, the congregation. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, that's right. Send it to Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, send it to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, send it to Skid, yeah, man. Well, number, fuck it. The number's right there. Send like, it yeah. my way, too, goddammit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. He'll send it to me, goddammit. Right. You know? But, man, talking to, uh, talk about media and shit. You seen this shit on, uh, on the ground? I just see. Man, shout out to you. I love you, bro. I just seen this nigga motherfucking, uh, AD. Uh, I got into it with some white boy or some shit. Oh, I, it looked like a white man. boy. I don't know what it is. But, bro, god damn it. I want to see the whole video. I do want to see the I whole know video. AD personally. Like, I know, I he, know bro. He, he, nigga, he don't play no games. Yeah, I was like, hold on, what know, happened? Because I, I, I was secure I, I already I know. And then, you know, you got you got to have homies like OT Genesis, yeah. too. <laughs> I in. see you, OT. OT. Yeah. Gang, gang, yeah, OT really wasn't playing. He said, man, I'm not. You gotta have homies yeah, like that for real, for real. But no, nah, man, it's been some shit like that going on like every day now. Like, it is, like the fuckers are really getting attacked in clubs and shit. I, Buster Rhymes just got into it. With oh somebody. yeah, I seen that shit too. He yeah, out, it was somebody. What, I think the dude name is uh uh, uh I, I want to say Money Man, but that might not be his name. But he got dragged out and then Buster went with him. Yeah, because he was a part of the entourage. Yeah. And then after that, Cam Newton. Oh my God! Hey, shout out Cam. It's been going up. Shout out Cam, you did your shit. Hey, that boy you had. See what I'm saying? He had one in the head He had him in the front of the other nigga kicking the other one. <laughs> hey, we, that's an NFL player. I don't know what you niggas thought y'all was going to do, just like run six, up on a nigga. Nine. He had, had the nigga in the full Nelson. He's <laughs> full <laughs> <spun> him around. <laughs> It's hey. just like the, what is it called? The statue of the body, bro. You got to understand, like, this nigga 
trains every day. No, for real. Not about to run up on a nigga that trains every day and thought you was gonna get a good one. Yeah. Not even three. Y'all no, better chill out, man. Not even three. Y'all should have been stabbing this nigga. So. Oh, hey, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, your live cam. But nigga, <laughs> don't do that. Don't yeah. run up on these niggas thinking you just gonna get a good one. Nah, nigga, this is an athlete. Nah. Nigga, he gonna break your face. Nah, bro, I'm surprised she didn't put these niggas. I, hey, that's what I was like, <laughs> man. If they would have niggas got kicked, boy, it would have been bad. Boy, man. it would have been terrible. Ooh, but yeah, but it's been going, a whole lot going on, man. Just airport. just stay woke and stay safe. Right? Oh, oh, <laughs> right. I'm gonna ask you a question, bro. You've been doing this for a minute. Have you ever ran into anything crazy at at a show or a? A, a studio, or even here, shit. Uh, I know y'all be rocking in this thing. A lot of people. Oh yeah. Through. Have you ever been through some crazy drama? I mean, like it's. I mean, it's always some type of drama going around. But like, as far as me, you know, I don't really, you know, yeah. circle myself with that shit. Cause I promise you, I'll just leave, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm say, literally too beautiful. cool. I'm too cool. I don't argue with I nobody. That shit. I don't talk. You know, like I'm always in the cut. I'm in the dark somewhere. Like yeah. you know, I'm peeping scenes and shit like that. Like, like, but you know, back in the days, of course, like you know, I was I was more rowdy, more crazier yeah. in the mental. Like you know, like you know. It's really a, outside with the shit. It's, it's that maturity, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's age, bro. Yeah. I'm getting too old for the fuck. You're you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, <laughs> you start. You I want to chill somewhere with a puppy on my lap. Like you feel me? Like, I just want to chill, chill and get a drink, motherfucker. Just relax yourself. Yeah, you did. You feel me? But you that part, man. You can go ahead and talk to that. Yeah, you feel me? After the sun, you got to mature, motherfucker. You got to mature. But yeah, as far as, uh, you know, drama and shit like that around here, like, you know, it's it's normally funny drama, bro. Like yeah, shit boy. that we can control, you know. Like it's boy. cool. Like yeah, I, I personally don't mind it. You know, it's safe. It's my, safe. Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> it's safe. Shit, you know. My dog suddenly don't really be, you know, in those type of environments. But I be having to tell like it's all good. It's don't all good. Hey, we good. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, it's straight. Uh, I remember like back in the day, my auntie told me some shit. I was, she like, you know, sometimes you just need a little drunk. Right. No, no. Goddamn it. Can we have a good day? Right, bro? exactly. You know, it'd be boring a little. It, it, adds a, it adds a little spice to our day, you know? Or, or just that, uh, it builds character. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Exactly, exactly. And we need that. You Shit. do. You Everybody's do. too fucking serious. I, God damn it. Bro, you like, that is, that's that's like a real, that's a dope thing that um I think entertainers tend to possess. It's like they're, there's a uh, there's always a time in life where we got to deal with some serious shit, right? And then we are here to be able to either ignite that serious shit uh-huh. or bring the laughter and the happiness and the entertainment after all the bullshit. Yeah. So it's like I, I appreciate you know what I'm saying being able to have the opportunity to do anything within entertainment because we can kind of control people's. Uh, they relief. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they might be going through all type of shit outside exactly. that door. They come nope. right here and chill with you, dog. You know that part, bro. Everything is a good vibe. Shit. Exactly, bro. Yeah. That's all we about, really. Like that's that's know, that's all... what that's what people need. That's what the industry needs. That's what the world needs. You feel me? People need an outlet. So if 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 your music you know what I'm saying? Now hold on, now I seen that shit that you and Pookie had going on, goddamn. That was some drama too. What's some crazy? What's some drama that you had going on, goddamn? He put me on the hot seat, man. My nigga, hey, that shit funny, and I'm glad y'all, y'all, y'all had y'all hashed that out, man. Exactly, that's brothers, man. That's your brother, man. But if you know Pookie, that nigga, then you know you gotta pick and choose what, when to fuck to to ignite this conversation. Or, you know what, I'm just let them have it. And that was just a day, you know, it, 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 y'all seen what happened. I ain't gonna yeah, speak no more. I love the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, ended the way it ended. Keep your foot on the fucking neck. You know what I'm saying? Stay rude, nigga. That's yeah. it. Stay rude. <laughs> but skin, man, so what, um, what you got coming next? Uh, like, well, what can we look forward to, man? What can the fans look forward to now? Like I said, more, more, more so I'm dibbling in the, the clothing, you know, field right okay. now. So expect more merch, you know, that's the most part, you know, Let's I definitely want to get this, get these shirts out, uh, get my hat, go, my hat's going, my brand going basically. Um, I'm that's dropped, your hat, the hat brand no, too? No, no, this, no, this oh, is, that's yeah, crazy. This, yeah, my son got me this. Yeah. So, you know, I just have to represent a little Put dog. that thing on, boy. Yeah. I have to represent a little dog. So. And uh, but uh, I got a couple videos here and there gonna drop. Um, I just dropped out the way. That's that was my my that was actually my last visual that I shot. 
uh, as a one shot. Oh. If you know what a one shot is, one shot is it's just one fucking scene yeah. and that's it. Just go straight through. Uh, like how Exhibit did. Uh, okay. uh, what you see is what you, you get. Yeah, I was about to make the whole yeah. world go I, I, down. I, I'm more than one of those, bro. I like to pay homage. Whoa, yeah, go bar for that. Yeah, I like to pay homage. Give him love like they. Oh no, absolutely not. They do not give exhibit. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because. Shout out. good. The congregation. Shout out Sunlit for sure. For sure. The left. Yeah, we did that shit, man. We we improvised. Shout out Sunlit. Shout out Sunlit. Yeah, we improvised. We got it all on camera, man. We shot that motherfucker on an iPhone. You know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we we went there. The future is here. I'm telling you, bro. We went there. We went there. Shit was happening, and we had to do what we had to do. We got the shot, dropped the video, got a good response. Everything's good with it. I see. You know what? You know what I did see. I seen the visual. It was like a liquor store. Yeah, that's the one. That's it. That's out the way. Wow. That's out the way. Wow. And that was that was something like I I that's fucking fire yeah i like directing I like, like i said i like i like directing shit i like you know shit to have some type of structure that shit you know felt like uh i don't want to say home but it felt like it felt like something it felt like you've been familiar. there yeah yeah like been exactly there, yeah, so. that's how that's how i want to do it too like it, with all my visuals and then with every visual that i have dropped it's always like a resemblance or for something with familiarity with yeah. the video you know what i'm saying like shit i could i could be you know i had a 70s video shoot you know our folks, our older folks could be like, oh, shit, that was tight. That shit looked fun. You know, our people yeah. be like, that shit looked fun. Same like, work. you know, you know, I I did all type of shit. Like, I'm a fun dude. Like, I don't gang bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't talk about, you know, my bad history like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, cause, you know, I could sit here and talk all day about being shot. I've been shot before. Oh, shit. You know what right. I'm saying? It, I mean. You good, though? Yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, that shit, it, 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 it happened. It happened. And. You know, I just I moved past it. I learned yeah. to not even let that shit, you know, even bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Hey, but um, uh, like I could sit here and talk about that shit all day, dog. But I, I choose to be fun. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. everybody's too serious back. You know, again, no, like you know, it. you know, you gotta you gotta have fun with people. You know what you I'm know, saying? You know what's cold though is in life we need those serious times, and then we need those times of relief. The funny, the the beautiful thing though is you have to go through some shit to know how to 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 actually yeah. fully be relieved in the right manner. Yeah. You feel me? Or, or even to know how to help other people through that relief. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't got to talk about it, bro. But when you do talk about it, you know what I'm saying, remember that you helping somebody else get through that trauma. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like that, I that's mean, by me, by me saying what I just said, like, you know, I hope that gets, you know, somebody yeah, about, through that did trauma. It. Like, yeah, it, it, it really get over this shit. Like, did. yeah, Abin, what the fuck, you, you know, you're going to relive the shit again, do what you got to do, get Bro. over the shit and live your life. Simple as that. But shit, just, you know, have fun. That's simple as that. Like, that's live cool. your live your years out. That point. You know what I'm saying? You could have you died that night. You know what I'm saying? Like, that That's the beautiful thing. It's like understanding, like, you you didn't put more years on your life. Yeah. Knowing that, okay, shit, I could have lost my life. Right. You feel me? Exactly. But I got it. So that means nigga, yep. I'm about to <laughs> I'm gonna do everything I can to keep this motherfucker. You feel me? So yep. learn from I, it. I, but we happy. Now this motherfucker. Hell yeah. And we go live in this motherfucker. Cause that's what it's about. You did? You feel what I'm shit. saying? What? <laughs> now he told us he told you guys some new visuals coming. Yeah. Now, what uh what I, I wanted to ask uh blast how did uh how did you start working with blast um shit i i met bro a, a long ass time ago probably like back in the days where it was king and blast okay um i don't know if you remember they was like that's, a duo yeah that's, that's ciu uh, music T- oh yeah i was trying to bring the name of ciu yeah. music man yep, right there about turn up music man right carson. There, carson i had <laughs> i had met a couple of them right there they gave me a cd and i've just been like locked in ever since but um you know, probably like maybe five, six years ago, right before Blast, you know, boomed out of there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was just getting beats from bro. Like he was making beats for like everybody, like not yeah. not everybody, but like local yeah. artists that knew that he made beats and shit. So I would just tap in with bro. You know, he would send me a whole pack of like probably like 10, 15 beats. I still got to this day, you know, shit that he's using. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I have beats that that's, you know. We ain't gonna talk about that, but it, 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 I, I got them. So you did, you em. there, bro? You locked in. I so. got them. Yeah, I, they all in the email. They all in there, sitting that's there lurking dope, and bro. chilling. But, uh, but yeah, man, that's just been a, he been a, he been a solid dude. You know him, his people over there, Vic, 
you know, my dogs, Jay Millie, you know what I'm saying? Jay Mack, yeah. you know, they all could they all good people over there at the Eagle team, man. He putting his foot he been putting his foot on their neck, but man, once he got once he could get his foot all the way in, nigga, he went in. He yeah. did his thing. Yeah, him and Bino was on a crazy run. Yeah, uh, bro. I was uh, I was what was uh, that during pandemic time too? Bro, it it was that's when it started. I mean, you know, they was already doing it. Yeah, they was already doing it, but when it kind of got Yeah, uh huh. Way was crazy. Yeah. You know, she ever, the what's that the uh what's it, that label over there? Blue uh, uh not the blue Lux plan, but it's the label they with. It's called uh, Eagle. It's e Eagle. Oh, you talking about uh Eagle Out the Blue? The, yeah, Out the Blue. Yeah. So that's when I heard of Out the Blue. It was funny because it was like the nigga the niggas it felt like the niggas came out the blue, but I remember yeah. seeing them grind. But nigga, during the pandemic was where it was like Oh, okay, y'all here, y'all yeah. oh, coming, exactly. huh? Like that? Exactly. Oh, I, I, that's what I said. I was like, I, I was don't that, know that them niggas used to be dope as hell back in the yeah, day. Like, nigga, they came and it was yeah. like, all right, niggas, y'all deserve yeah. that. Well deserved, you feel me? And I was like, damn, man, um, because I actually was like, Bino, what's Bino gonna do, right? Yeah. And then I seen shit blast, just went, and I was like, oh, bro. This is beautiful, man. Yeah, man. He, he sat down with the folks, man, and made it right. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you too, bro. What do you um where you see yourself in everybody asks like years and all that shit, right? I'm like, where you see yourself when the summer drop? When the summer drops, shit, I'll have more, you know, pieces from my uh my clothing line, Electric Black, like I was saying. My website would be up and running, you know, shit would be more and more smoothly. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to go forward with that, but I at least want to, you know, have at least five dope ass cinema type uh, music videos or okay. shorts drop before the summer or for the summertime. Um, shit, there's just so much, so many projects that I'm working on. Me and my team up here at 33rd Compound, me, Sunless Schley, we got podcasts and shit that Ooh. we're working on. Um, um, you know, it's just a lot, bro. I, I promise you. I could tell you where I want to see myself, but man, that 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 would be some way up there. You, know, you know where I want to see you at the Fuego Fest. Hey, I'll be there. I'm on now. Yeah, I need to see you on Fuego Fest, and we need to cross promote. Yes, sir. And work, bro, because yeah. this That's the only way it's gonna work. Yeah, you feel me? This uh, um, it's been a long time coming. What we doing? And I'm happy that you know we working with Thirty Thirty Compound. Shout out Thirty Thirty Compound. Uh, shout out Sunlit, man. Shout out the Fuego team. You feel me? And it's like, uh, we working, bro. And yeah. I just want to share that energy with like-minded people. You Most feel me? Yeah. Because that's how we all can get to where we're supposed to be. Absolutely. Bro. And uh, that shit's beautiful. I believe, too, like, you can have heaven on earth. <laughs> and that just takes being around the same people that feel the same way. Facts. If we all positive and we all up and up going after what we believe in it. And elevating, yeah. Think about it, bro. That's heaven. Hell yeah. You feel me? So let's enjoy it. That ladder, you know. So now, lastly, I want you to make sure you let the people know where they can follow you, uh, uh, your social medias, uh, your your emails, how they can contact you if they want to work with you. you know, should let them know. I mean, shit. Pretty much, you can find me everywhere. Skinny Kenny, just straight like that. But on IG, you can find me at one Skinny Kenny, and that's two eyes and a skinny. Uh, so it's one S K I I N N Y K E W N Y. Simple as that. You can find me everywhere. Just like that. Man, tap in Apple with music, the boy. Spotify, all that shit. You can find me Ooh, Skinny Kenny. So before we go though, you know, man, shout out my brother, Spirit Guy. <laughs> I love you, dog. Keep working hard, man. We got you. you know I'm gonna hold you down. Yeah, where is bro? Man, he had to get his, uh, he's working on a new project right now. Okay. So, that dude be working. That dude yeah. works hard. I'm talking about, like, fallout work. You yeah, I'm, so. I'm sure I would have been drunk as a motherfucker right now. And this bro was sitting right here on the other side. He would have was right here. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gonna, oh. we gonna, we gonna astro project, bro, right here. Yeah, so let me just take shot. That part, we gonna take, yeah, let's yeah. toast it for my brother. That part, you know what? But. Yeah, man, he working on uh, a few different things. Y'all definitely need to uh, tap in with each other, man, because he do a, he do a lot of other things and shit. Him being an actor, him being a host, we can always put some cool shit. Oh yeah, most you know? definitely. But uh, I wanted to ask you, bro. This would have been a question he would ask you. Uh, do you have any crazy drinking stories? Crazy drinking stories. Let me see. I mean, of course. I mean, as far as my drinking story goes, I mean, of course, it got something to do with Four Loco. 
Oh shit! Yeah, he hit us with a, the four loco, nigga. Everybody got a four loco What's story. What's the deal, you, you bro? Don't, I promise you, I don't trust you. But yeah, man. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was a oh, rim can shit. too. Oh, I think it was a rim can. What color can did you yeah, have? I think, what I think was, it was the a flavor, can. nigga? Well, yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna count with you. Man. I used to stay in San Bernardino. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, the story. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to stay in the Dino. Uh, shout out to my boys in the Dino. Shout out um, to Dino, man. Yeah, I used to stay out there. Shit, like you know, I well before I never really drank like that. What like, they I'm, call it, San Gun Dina. Yes, exactly. <laughs> San Bernardino. Yeah, play that part. <laughs> what? All right, all right. Uh, but let's see. I mean, a specific one. I mean, of course, it got something to do with two bitches. Yeah, man, tell us, nigga, you this I mean, your story. I mean, well, I said, I four loco. I mean, and yeah, four, four bitches. What I, happened? I, I, four what? loco, two bitches. Okay, six. You know, wait, it, it went there. Yeah, it got there. Yeah, but, but nah, uh, you know, shit. It was, it was a good night. You know, I mean, he can't go into no I details. Mean, I went to G. I went to jail that night. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> the man went, went to, to jail. jail. I went to jail. They was trying to defend some honor. The man, that shit was crazy, bro. Disturbing hey. the peace, man. They took me to jail. I was. <laughs> now that's a story for that ass. Yeah, bro. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I ain't gonna ask you what happened fully. You feel me? Because you, you know, I only want to put you on there. If you don't want to say, it, I ain't gonna ask you. No. Did you learn your lesson? I mean, I learned my lesson because yeah, one of the girls' boyfriends came to the oh. spot we was at, and it got crazy. And oh. yeah, I don't. You got, was like that? It got girl? crazy, bro. It got oh, crazy. Oh shit! Hey, look, off of four loco, literally. Yo, Everybody yeah. in the house is drinking four. We can only afford four loco. That's it. Four <laughs> loco and some and a double wee. And back then, a double wee was bro, two point oh. Stop playing. You know hey, <laughs> that was a sit. That was a sit. You. Wishing, yeah. yeah, but yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Shout out to bro. them, though, man. Y'all, y'all still yeah. cool. Y'all Shout still out to cool. them, be cool with them, you know, because <laughs> man, I didn't, I didn't been in some place. I, I had to jump out some windows and say, "This Asu Leo got one." That's it, got you right. He said, "He said I ain't gonna say the full thing, but hey, yeah, boyfriend, my bad." This <laughs> nigga skinny kid. Hey, but I'm gonna say this. Piggybacking on that, man, I didn't have some terrible nights. I mean, I not even off of liquor, man. I had to jump out of some bitches' windows, you know, because the nigga didn't popped up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, I yeah, I, I, I did, I did the bathroom thing before. I, 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 I hid in the bathroom and yeah. he came and he didn't go in the bathroom because she was in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm gonna tell you, hey, shout out, shout out, baby girl. Yeah, this, um, I, this, this so I, I, we we sipping a little whatever. I was hanging out with her, and I had to take a shit right. So I go, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Taking a shit. I hear, get out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm like, I'm on the toilet. Like, what's going on? This yeah, shit. <laughs> the nigga is in the house. Oh, my God. He like, who you got up in here, bitch? <laughs> she like, get out. Mom, how? I'm on the toilet. Like, God damn it. I'm <laughs> Your clothes, I'm probably, to, your clothes oh, probably in the room and some old shit. Oh. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, I'm like, I got to wipe before this nigga <laughs> come, bro. The door go. No, no, no. I'm like, oh, hold on, man. Wait. <laughs> oh, damn. The nigga tried to come in the bathroom. You ain't, bro. You ain't cut the lights off. Or the the lights? Lights? I, I wasn't thinking last four, bro. I swear. <laughs> so, he like, hold oh, you got this bitch ass dick over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, wait a minute. Let me wipe my. <laughs> hey, hold on now. <laughs> I ain't no bitch ass nigga. <laughs> okay, let, bro. You got me. Let me wipe my ass real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't get the wipe, but I'm about to come out. The the niggas already that. Yeah, that was just, the, the niggas, shitty. Like you know, she had she had uh she had her she had her her brother and shit there. So he had while I when I came out the toilet, opened the door, he already running in the room. Oh no, you feel me? So he grab he grabbed dude, he take dude outside. I'm going outside with him. She's like, no, don't you go out there? Why would you go out there? I'm like, well, cause you know I ain't a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> she like, wait, no, no, fuck him. I'm like, okay. So we at the door, I'm faded, she faded, she jumping at the door like, yeah, nigga, bitch, dude, I'm like, hey, hey, wait a minute, you chill like, out, man, I'm fine, and you tripping on this, man, you know what, <laughs> and then I seen, cause I was like, this nigga's big, he was like, humongous, humongous, right, at that time, I was like, you know, you know, I'm always a little fat boy with my little whatever, I'm gonna run it, you feel me, but when I seen him, I was like, oh, that's why you said don't go outside, 
Oh, oh, okay. Like, oh, this nigga was like man, seven, running in Debo. Seven something, seven something, seven but Did some correction, grab the break. But when lose a draw, nigga, I was taking a shit. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. But that's, shout out to her. That's out of Love line. Love her. That's out of line. Let the it nigga was. take shit. That was, uh, I miss her, man. That was one of my uh, Long Beach Snow Bunnies, man. God bless you, girl. You keep on doing your thing. I miss you. But yeah, she wow. She had too many niggas. Too many niggas. <laughs> so, yeah, nah. so yeah, that was, that was, I had to piggyback with you on that wild story, man, because these, these these girls is crazy. And then man. they say, we crazy. And that Laker get you in trouble. <laughs> see, I just put it down. I see. You you like that. But hey, yeah, I, don't dro- I ain't dropping no names, but you know who you are, girl. Yeah, tap in. Hit my DM. Man, you, you gave us a handful, bro. Yeah, I'm man. I'm looking forward to uh really working with you. Honestly. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, I'm looking forward to also seeing um your visions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, come, come to fruition. fruition. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So, shit, whatever you need from the Fuego team, whatever you need from Uncle Reef, shout out my brother Spirit God. Yes, you right along with me, the congregation. They here to turn up with us. Yeah. And, man, whatever you need, bro, we here for you, man. For sure, man. You already know. So, once again, we're going to damn near wrap this thing up. Shout out to, to Leo. Azurio. I just got it right reading, nigga. I can speak Spanish. Ah, uh, yeah. I can read Spanish too. One more time. I can say compromiso. Compromiso. Yeah, that's Hola, yeah. buenos dias, puto. <laughs> Pinte cabrones, we chupar mi pito. Así, we. Ay, ay, ay. What's that? Azurio. Azurio. I got it right. All right. So, y'all go get this shit. It's really good. I'm lit as fuck. Skinny Ken didn't put it down Man, a few yeah, times. You feel what I'm saying? I but, put it down. But guess what? My face now. <laughs> <laughs> That's another episode of Fuego, man. Say it with me, man. On three. Uno, dos, tres. Fuego! And we out this bitch. Fuego. You can say compromiso. <laughs>